Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deloop, and welcome back to Factorio series. I almost said Mega Base for a second. This will eventually be a Mega Base, but uh, this is episode 2, and uh, like I said that I would be doing last episode, I went ahead and got the copper up and running and good to go. Uh, I do kind of want to increase my um, power output, because right now I'm running into some power issues, so I'm just going to craft some of these up and uh, start tiling them in. And I didn't really do a whole lot off camera. Basically what I did was uh, just... Uh, I didn't have much iron on me. I just finished off all the inserters and stuff for the copper, added the chest, same thing with the iron, mapped out where everything needs to go, and I know that looks like a mess, but it was the easiest way to do it, so it was kind of somewhat symmetrical. This is like, uh, as Will was saying, it's, you have, he said everybody has three steps to a base. You have your initial base to get started, and then you have your base that you, uh, you build after that, and then eventually you'll need a bigger base so you redesign it. So this is your second one, and the second one is typically a spaghetti factory. And that's very true. Uh, so yeah, spaghetti factory. That should be enough power generation now. Yes, it is. So we're going to get ourselves some uh, circuit automation in preparation for green science. Now I've researched everything I care to research with red science right away. Maybe I could get optics. Might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and grab that. Might as well. Ah, oh, which means I need more iron. This can be torn down. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and throw more iron in here to get that going. That's got given me transport belt. So basically, we'll, we'll research optics. That's not a big deal. Um, and I'm going to be setting up my science build. So for the start, I'm just going to use these basic factories. I'll upgrade them, but they're just cheaper. And uh, we'll come over here and we'll grab some iron. And those can be removed. I'm going to leave them there for now. I don't really feel like picking them all up. Look at that. So much iron now. That's awesome. So uh, I'm going to want like 10 of these. So 5, 10. And I'm going to need a hell of a lot of inserters. So let's uh, get going on that. So uh, I forget how many inserters this build uses. It's 9 plus... Hang on. 9 plus 6 is 15 um, 21, one moment, 28 to 9, um, about 60 blue inserters, should do, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, whoop, nope, hang on, I think I started crafting wrong ones, cancel that, let me start that over, make sure I'm not crafting anything useless right now, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 6, 55, 60. 60 blue inserters. It's going to need quite a few splitters. I'll make a couple of those. Some underground belt. Make a couple of those. And we're good to start laying it out now that I'll have all the materials coming in. I'm kind of glad I'm researching optics as well because I'm, uh, it's, I'm realizing how dark it is in some of the YouTube videos. I do have the gamma up and that's kind of why it looks a little bit funny if you noticed in the in the videos it's 1080p 60 fps but it or no it's not 60 i was going to but the file sizes were massive um but yeah i i up the gamma just a tiny bit that way you guys can see if i forget to place down lamps which i tend to do a little too often so you guys gotta remind me i'm leaving it up to you so i'm gonna place this like one away from the lake so we'll start we'll start it about here which means I should probably move this power pole there we go optics are researched which means I can craft some lamps I'll get some of those going so that I can start laying them out Ooh, fishy so my goal this episode is obviously to get science or uh, circuits up and going so I'm just gonna lay these out how I want them I always forget about there and there. Is that right? Even? Even-ish? Yeah, that's that's correct. Okay, and then what you do is, unfortunately I don't have any underground belt, so I can't really map it out too well, but um, it's one and then it's got the curve here which goes into a splitter, which again I don't have any, so I can't really show that, but then it's got a two line here and the same kind of deal going on about there and then the second set goes here and it's one away 
So, nice big build to get us started for today. Is this lined up? Yep. There it is. Yeah, it's lined up. That's good. That's good, 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 good. And we'll just plop these guys in. And these are going to be all circuits and whatnot. So these two are circuits, along with these two up here. And then these two are cabling. So those, get these. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Cabling. And I'm getting my inserters coming in, which is nice. And then we just place these all in here. We're going to need a power upgrade after this as well. And then they just get three. These have the one output, two inputs, two inputs, and again, one output, one output, two inputs, and I'm out of inserters. Urgh, I can't really design it without the right materials. Well, I can start running in the copper. That's fine. Yeah, so this will be the copper belt, so I need to bring this down a bit. Ooh, I'm out of belt. Let's go grab some of our automated stuff. Which means I'm going to need more iron. Uh, as we're going up, we'll just pick some up off the line. That's why I wanted to get both of these up and running as soon as possible. It just makes things so much easier, having the auto smelting. Stone is still gathering nicely. That's good to hear. Unfortunately, this ran out of iron. I'll, I'm going to throw half of the iron in here, the other half in here, and that'll be good. And this shouldn't be crafting more science, so... 22 belts not going to be enough. We're going to have to craft some, but unfortunately my crafting queue is a little full right now. I'm, I can start to clear it out a little bit. I don't really need the lamps right away. We'll, we'll hold off on the lamps. They're not entirely necessary. Okay. So uh, I'm still, like I said, working on the inserters. I need underground belts, splitters, that kind of stuff to, to really finish this off. And in hindsight, I should have prepped all this stuff off camera. It would have sped things up a lot. But uh, next episode, when I'm ready to do science, maybe I'll prep it off camera. I try not to prep too much off camera because, I mean, that's the whole point of the series is to be able to see what is happening. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll have it split off about here-ish. How do I want to do this? here-ish. That'll go in like that. And we, we're out of belt. <clears throat> Dang it. Well, that sucks. We're about halfway done with the episode, and I'm out of transport belt. And I'm still making inserters. Actually, why am I still making inserters? Did this... No, it's not enough. Okay. It's not enough, because we have a chest. We're gonna need chests. We have a chest here. And that just pulls out into another chest, which then pulls out onto belts in the proper locations. So just like that, and then it mirrors on this side as well. And this is the design that I have been loving and using all the time. Yeah, see, we need uh, that, that three more inserters. But... That should be uh, should be just about it. Uh, by the way, I am using mods in the series, just like the last one. For those of you tuning in that aren't haven't seen the old uh, Mega Base series, it's the same mods. That they're all in the description. You can check those out, and uh, whenever you want to do that. So, right now we're just kind of waiting on uh, on belt and whatnot. So I'm gonna come up here and see if we've got some crafted for us. Our coal is stopped, which is good to know. Actually, it's not good because it's kind of all unbalanced. I noticed splitters and stuff work very weird since point 12. Uh, they've always worked that way. It's just like more noticeable now. All right, so that that should be enough belt for for the time being. And I might as well start slowly setting up how I like my hot bar. Um, I'll do that eventually. But uh, now that we have splitters, we can start finishing off this. Ew, those lamps would be coming in handy about now, huh? Sorry about the darkness. I'm going to try and um, get lamps pretty soon. So, this is a splitter. Here and here. 
And then we've got a splitter here. Wait, eh. Here and here. These belts connect in here. A belt comes off here and into it. Same with this one. Bam and bam, there we go. And then these just run back into this, like that. Well, not quite like that, like that. That, that looks right, I think. I can't remember how I did this. I think that's how, how it's set up. Well, I'll figure it out. So then I want some underground belts for all the uh, iron inputs. And that's pretty simple, it's just like this. And the same thing on this side as well. Again, this is the iron input. That needs to be going the right way. That one is. Uh, we're crafting our chest that we'll need. That's good. And I'll use the underground belt here to just bring it out for the copper. Okay. So we'll just stick a splitter in here. This will go down. This one will go up into this. I know I already laid out this this whole line of conveyor and now I'm tearing it up because I decided that I want to even it out a bit more. That is good. That's as good, 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 good. Alright, and then we need the iron. So the iron will just come much the same way. And because I've done this already, recently, I remember how it should all go. Which is nice because it doesn't look nearly as bad. Oh, well, as I'm saying, I place a bunch of stuff wrong. Alright, so I might as well craft those lamps while I'm not I'm out of iron. Might as well not craft the lamps, because I don't need them, right? No, I do need them. I just don't have them. Let's grab some iron. Might as well grab some copper. You'll never get me alive, copper! Okay, that was kind of random. Alright, I want some lamps, and uh, maybe, you know what, I might be able to start the science automation this episode so it gets finished by next episode. Um, like, start laying it out, because circuit's pretty much ready to go. I've already got the chests all ready to go. Bam, 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 bam. Circuits are a go for gold. Do you see how much faster the series is going now that I've recently done it? Especially on live stream, I got a lot of help. Um... So we'll shift click this and copy and paste it over. Yeah, I've been live streaming a whole separate base, so I got a little bit better at how to how to do everything. Which makes it a lot easier, I'd say. Okay. Now I'm noticing one of the things that I flunked up on is I have no way to run in the copper because it's all too close together. Um yeah, and as you can see, these, these transport belt can't go any farther out, so I'm going to need to move this over and out a little more. Isn't I thought that was how I had it set up, but maybe not. Because this needs to be the, co the copper input, so it just needs to come out like this and come up to the copper. Which, doing this is fine. I'll just do something like that. Oops. 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 Alright. Ah! Let's place these right. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna get to science if I keep doing that. Um no, I won't finish science this episode. I'm going to split off these into two lines eventually. So I'm gonna make sure to remember that I'm doing that. Actually it's gonna be four lines, that's why I have them spaced out so much. There we go copper is in and now we just need to figure out where we want our iron to come in from so obviously I think I might want it to go from the bottom started from the bottom now we're here and I think what I might want to do is bring this in and then do something like this so that's one two three like this ah start placing the proper way please Oh, these are out. Mm, yep, that's all right. And then we could just use this underground belt. I made a lot of these things. That's all right. I'll need them. And then I can do the iron the same way as copper. I am. Okay, and just plug it in. 
Now where do I want to plug it in at? Well, I'll figure it out. So we'll just bring it up. And I'm thinking we can just do it right alongside the uh, the copper, since it's already there. Might as well make it a little more compact. I know this is a long way away from everything, but now this is expandable and I have room to mess with stuff, which is key. It really is. Did I place those belts right? Yes, I did. Okay. <clears throat> so this is copper. One, two, and three, and this will go here and here. And then the iron will come down, plug into the circuits, and I'm out of belt. Let's go get more. Let's go get more belt, and I can start placing lamps along everywhere to make things nice and bright because it's getting dark again. And this time I'll place them at the beginning of the factory so I don't have to go around and fix it all. Alright, give that more some more iron. That's a lot of belt. That's good. That's very good. That's plenty of belt to last me a little while. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get to science. I might automate gears this episode, maybe. But, to be quite honest, I'm barely having time to do the gears. And I do need to back record these because... Uh, I, I shouldn't have released these so fast, let's just say. <laughs> I should have waited until I got a couple episodes before I released the first one. Uh, I just uploaded the first one. That way, I would actually have, like, kind of a backlog, but I'm going to be kind of pressed for time this week to get these all out, at least on a daily basis. After, like, you catch up, it's easy. Um, Alright, so we need... Let me make as many poles as I possibly can, because I'm going to need quite a few. Luckily, I already brought power in. We'll get some copper going in. Then this can go here and here. Just make sure these all get power. There and there. Start off on this end as well. And then just do this once again. Oh, I'm out of pole. <gasps> no, I'm out of wood. I don't have a whole lot of wood lying around, to be honest. Uh, this series will not be much shooting trees yet, because I'm in a desert with no wood around. I do have these, like, dead wood, but, like, it doesn't... They're spread out. It's not very much. When you're in a forest biome, like at the start, you end up with more wood than you know what to do with just from clearing it out to make room. But this, you actually have to go out of your way to get some more. And this episode's almost about ready to, to wrap up here. Uh, we're just going to finish off this uh, circuit build, and then i got to think about where I'm going to put the, the iron. So yeah, the, it looks like this is all running smoothly. The only issue is on this side when I, where I have no power. Look at that circuits galore for me to enjoy. So uh, circuits, steel, and iron are all going to go along like the, the central bus layout. And I'm realizing a, a mistake I made. <gasps> no, mistakes are bad. I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. Oh, you know what? This is, that's wrong. Out, out, output, and output, and output. <laughs> you said that was feeding back into the box, which was not, not how it was supposed to be. Output, 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 and output. Yes, that's that's the way to do it. So, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Next episode, we will be automating our science, and then uh, after I automate science, I'll pretty much be where we were last time. To be honest took me way too long to get where I was. I just made things way too complicated. I needed to have a set plan, get it done, and do it. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave your comments. I really, I read all of them. I, I typically respond to them. So if you have any kind of questions or concerns, just post them in the comments. I, I really enjoy the feedback and the re I, I love reading them. Uh, and make sure to like the video and subscribe if you uh, enjoy the videos for more content. So, uh, one of the things I'm just now realizing, actually. Alright, cut that off. Ho-hoi! That's 
that's the right way to do it. There we are. But uh, yeah, thank you for, again for watching, and I'll see you next time. My name is Deloop, and bye-bye.